When exploring chimpanzees in the wild, it's very important to understand just how close to us that they really are. The hand movements, the facial expressions, the emotions. Let's take a look, for example, at uh, the recent interaction between Chad and a lowland chimpanzee. As you can see, Bruno is learning at a very rapid rate, faster than any of us could have expected. We're very pleased. Well, we were very pleased. We've been working extensively with Bruno on condition response therapy. Get down! Well, let's take a look and see how far Chad has come. We're using food as a means of getting him to do what we need him to do. It's a, it's a way to train him to be, you know, able to work come with his... I mean, these are banana chips! Come on! Bruno, come on! Bruno, get down! Come on! <laughs> well, as you can see, the banana shouldn't be dehydrated. Well, we've been working extensively with Bruno. We mentioned earlier about the similarities between primates and man. And uh, this particular chimpanzee, well, he's learned quite a great deal. But I think he understands the actual similarities between him and us. As a matter of fact, Spencer, he's got the keys. He's got the keys. Bruno, wait! Bruno! Oh my gosh, he's got the keys! Bruno! Get out! Oh! oh. 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 oh my lord. Call oh, the police! Oh my gosh! We taught Bruno, we taught Bruno about prisms, but I don't think, I think he misunderstood, I think he misunderstood. We didn't mean prisms that have four wheels.